This review is on the movie Song of Names. I'm the angry guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. Director for the film Song of Names was Francois Gerard. Mr. Gerard has acquired a variety of outstanding awards in directing plays, operas, and films. He is a writer, producer, and three-time winner for the most coveted Herald Angel Award for Best Production at Edinburgh Festival. The cast in the film is Tim Roth as Martin, Clive Owen as Dovidal, Catherine McCormick as Helen, Martin's wife, Stanley Townsend as Gilbert, Martin's father, Joanne Howard as Dovidal as a young man, Garan Howell as Martin as a young adult. The film song of names is about two young boys that hated each other when they met but became like brothers as they got older. Before the outbreak of World War II, Martin's family living in London was asked by Double Duel's father, living in Poland at the time, if he could house his son, a child prodigy with him. Martin's father, Gilbert, accepted the responsibility, but the self-proclaimed genius Double Duel pissed Martin off as soon as they met because he had to share his bedroom with Double Duel, the arrogant asshole. Martin's dad tried his best so Double Duel would become a Polish Jewish virtuoso. In the year 1951, Martin's dad invested all his own money to give London a debut concert from W that would have launched his brilliant career. I learned more about the Jewish customs, faith, and words during this film than any other time in my life. The movie spared no expense on the clothes at different gatherings, inside of buildings, cars, recreation during the, and after the World War II, inside of a concert. It was like being transferred back in the 1940s and 1950s. The cinematography wasn't just sharp, but it let the audience imagination roam a bit. The acting was excellent by all actresses and actors. Whatever area the actors were in, outside or inside a building, you felt the surroundings because the scenery looked like the exact period of time. One particular scene I enjoyed was the dueling violins in the bomb shelter. Once I heard the meaning of the title of the film, a piece of dust got in my eye, and I realized how intelligent and dedicated people are of the Jewish faith. When I finally accepted the genius of the arrogant asshole, that character in the film became a little easier to swallow. The film was in one word, poignant. Out of ten, I give the film Song of Names, which was intelligently written, well-acted drama, a 7.5. Thank you for commenting, thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you.